Well guys, it's George from Cyprus Insight and quite a few of the videos I keep pointing out these quad bikes and these carts and stuff and I say it'd be great fun if you go up to Capo Greco with one of these quad bikes and I've never done it before and I've been recommended George's quad bike -y place in Panera there it is I thought I'd come down here and rent one of these uh, machines and we'll go up to Capo Greco or maybe somewhere else not sure we'll grab a picnic and we can watch the sunset can't we so let's go into the George's place and see what we can hire so here we are and uh, I'm just gonna have a word with George this is the owner always oh, put his glasses on it looks like he should be on a Harley Davidson look more sexy you do look sexy <laughs> I'm not too sure about that guys so there's his t-shirt if you look oh, actually that looks like you yes that is with exactly big, like nose. with the big nose exactly oh that wasn't very nice was it guys now George we decided that we're gonna rent one of these contraptions mm -hmm. and we've been recommended to you because we've you. been told that you've got some new machines very rarely break down and also you've got a mechanic so if there's a problem you'll come out to us straight away is that right yeah have a 24 hour service wow and problem i'm there all the time brilliant so can we have a look at some of your machines yeah, yeah. where should we start with uh, you start with the uh... Let's go down. Oh, there's all oh, guys. There's a slope. I do like a slope. Oh, what's this? That one is the 800 cc. This is 800 cc. Wow, that's quite a lot for a small vehicle. And I have the, the buggy, the sport one. Right, George, can I stop you here? Yeah. Um, this is automatic. All of it is automatic, it's no gear, all of it is automatic. Oh wow, so that's easy. And this one's got a little um, pickup bit, isn't it? Yeah, you can put your stuff in the back. Right, so if you've got a little picnic or something like that, mm -hmm. you can put your stuff in the back. I like that one, I that's have, nice, isn't it? I have the sport one. The right, oh, this seat. is for the youngsters, isn't it? It's quite... It's more sporty. It is more, it is more sporty, isn't it? Wow, look at this. Uh, it looks like um, it's been re done all cleaned up ready to go so George um, this one here is it's automatic also oh right because I saw the gear stick and it looked like it, it was is, manual uh, the, no the have is a neutral high and reverse that's it and that's it is it yeah, oh that's simple and it looks like this one's got these uh, the bucket seat seats and yeah. is that right it's got proper bucket seats and how many cc's is this, this is thing 600 this right 600 but it's smaller vehicle isn't it so that's a that's a really nice buggy isn't it Mm -hmm. I'll call that a buggy, wouldn't you? It's called a, it's a buggy, 600. PPO. That's right, buggy. Brilliant, I like it. Wow, George, look at the size of this. What? That, tell us what this is. That is the lion. That's the a lion, four, is it? The seater the Polaris, the RZR. It's a 1000 cc. I have another one there. I have oh, that's the, the one the over end. there. So there's four of these available. These for four years. And I have the Ranger. And that's the Ranger. The Ranger I do like that Ranger. But let's have a look at this one because it's a bit mad, isn't it? Look at the size of that. It's quite high, isn't it, George? Look at it's that. It's a big machine, this That one. is a big it's machine, a big isn't machine. it? Right, George, look at the suspension on this. So, can I go off road with this? Uh, yes, you can go, but not from the crazy way. You can use a little bit off road. To right. Hard so, to go these the go case. off road, but you can't go too mad, can you? Because no, it can you, be dangerous. dangerous, is that right? Yeah, you have, it's, when you're going off road, you can use slowly to can go to see the caves. Right. It's okay, so, but uh, not with the bad uh, driver. You don't know. be silly. No, no, don't be silly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Always I, be caution. I mean, they can cope with it am i right george mm -hmm. they can cope with the off-road experience but 
bearing in mind you're not a rally driver yeah you can go a little bit off from just from to see the caves yes but not from the crazy off-road you yes. know it's uh, it's really dangerous to come deep if you go fast in the off-road right so be warned guys although they look like sturdy great machines you got still got to be careful and wow we've got four people in here well that's four bucket seats there they are look at these four bucket seats and of course automatic again which one's got a little bonnet and a crash barrier George, show us some more you've got tons uh, here should I, we have a look at that ranger, the ranger now yeah. guys i did like this ranger and i i that spotted is, this uh, three -seater, that one. this is three seater three -seater. is it oh yes so it is so you've got one in the middle haven't yeah, you here right now i do like this one because i've seen these around Hello. and um i was going to have one for me garden great for your garden rubbish right george i've noticed these quaddy bikes i call them this looks quite new is it brand new it's brown new. it's only two weeks two weeks i buy it before two weeks ago oh guys i'm not going to take this out it's, uh, it's brand new look 2023 it's got a toll bar what's this it's all about 600 cc that is from the box you can open it you can put your stuff the helmet oh right okay you can put your safety equipment in there plus a picnic sounds good to me and can two people ride this yes Oh, I see. Right, okay. And it's automatic, full automatic, no gears. So is it easy? To, like, very, very, very even easy. Even an idiot like me could drive this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you it's think very, I could drive this? It's very easy, it's very easy. Oh, I'm amazed, guys. Uh, so we'll go through what you need, what sort of driving licenses you need you, you to need drive this. You need anything you rented from the four wheel or buggy you need a car license not right car license so i don't need a motorbike license no, no, for no. this you don't need a motor uh, you, uh, you don't need a motorbike license you need an only car license right no, because we've got four wheels four wheel, you need a car license it's just a car license and we can take this out okay I have this oh there's an, another one that looks quite new as well this brand new only, they have a Oh look at that! Only eleven kilometers. Oh, no one, no one used yet. Oh, no one's used this one yet, guys. And that one you so have we've got box. some new equipment. Look at this. It's and there's the box. box that you can put all your goodies in, and of course your crash helmets. Right, George. On these ones, you have to wear crash helmets. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So we on these quaddy bikes crash helmets um what with, about these with the sort of buggy you don't need a helmet only right. with a quad you need a helmet with scooter you need a helmet but with the buggy you don't right. need a helmet right because we've got doors and what have you you don't need the helmet on there and we've got our seat belts on yeah, on this you have your symbol and everything you don't right. need a helmet right. only but, with the quad or the scooter they need a the helmet that's right we'll have a look at the scooters yeah. in a minute let's go and have a look at the scooters because that's a different issue altogether isn't it because this is more like a motorbike this is an actual motorbike uh, isn't it scooter you need a helmet the right. scooter yeah uh, you need uh, to have a license with the scooter to come right. drive you can't drive with a driving with a license with a car license yes. right okay so this is another level totally guys you're gonna have to have your scooter license a little motorbike license to take these out okay guys got to be a scooter or motorbike experience to take these out because we've got two wheels don't forget we need to know how to balance and what have you but they are available if you've got the license fantastic and they look really nice don't they so guys if you haven't got your scooter license and you want to go on two wheels why don't you rent one of these brand new bikes these mountain bikes looks like they're virtually brand new we've got the massive tires look at that all nicely pumped up loads of gears all these like automatic type gears look all lined up i like that green one look at that they're quite new i think a lot of them are new this year and if they're last year's model they've been serviced 
and greased up because look at these suspensions aren't they nice beautiful bikes and we've got different saddles so you can pick what you like I like the big saddle because I'm old but the youngsters might want that uh, sporty type saddle this is a big buggy 700 cc this one. Oh wow so this is a 700 cc buggy 700. is it I like it it's it actually looks smaller than the others but it's more powerful it's isn't more it power, yeah. oh, so that looks really nice big tires good suspension let's have a look the at the bucket cuts. seats all oh, right okay and bucket seats again now I've noticed a lot of the buggies or all the buggies are left hand drive they is that a problem a, they have a left side and they have some buggy right side oh you do have they some have, yes depends on which one you choose we've got some left hand drive buggies and right and, side also and right hand yes. side and left hand drive buggies is it a problem or are we no, okay with no, that no it's, uh, it's every is easy it's right, very okay. easy perfect well let's go and have a look at the safety equipment so i've noticed in the office there's his little office there he's quite proud of his little office if you come back and you're a little bit hot guys he might give you a cold drink from his fridge and here we are there's all the safety equipment the helmets so you can choose whatever one you like is that right george yes i have also here a helmet oh yeah we've got some here new helmet here and we've oh have we just got some new ones in arrived this well up here guys so you can pick which one fits better and what particular color you like it looks like we've got a nice pink one here haven't we look at that that's a lovely helmet look at that one. Oh, that's nice that's like, oh no i like that one look at that oh look at that and that's got a visor as well isn't it so if you're going on the open once and and it's a bit dusty it's that's a good idea you with the dust, yeah it? i like that idea it's perfect and of course as i said a whole load of new helmets have turned up as well so lots of uh, helmets to choose from and try on oh well, george to if you're coming in the season i know you've got lots of quad bikes but maybe it's a good idea to book before you come is that a good idea yeah it's better it's better, it's better. but you've got but a lot of stock haven't you i have a lot or i have a 75 machine great i have a lot always i have a machine but if it's somebody they want something four seater like this is better to book it that's right because it's a busy lot of busy yeah so not so many okay so if they want to book it they can always uh, whatsapp you on zero zero three five seven yes. nine nine six five eight four six two yeah, they and also you're on facebook is that right yes in facebook also they can find my telephone so guys if you want to rent one of these quaddy bike things and this is really comfortable this one isn't it lovely look at that all springing up oh it's really nice anyway i'm getting all excited now where was i oh yes if you want to rent one of these quaddy bike things just bring payment you can pay by visa or any one of the credit cards cash if you like but make sure you bring your driving license and your passport i'm a bit wary about getting the little ones and i'm getting old now so <laughs> i've chosen one of these big ones is that okay no problem no brilliant problem. there's one over there and there's one over there i think i'll have the one in the shade should okay. we have the, can i pick that one yeah oh thanks george i'm gonna have this one and i'm gonna explain to you how it works right it's very very easy right i'm glad you're gonna do that so we're gonna go through all the driving experience and what to do and what not to do is that right george yeah so he's going to get in and show me exactly what to do right george we'll go through it now you show me the seat okay. now did you did you say something about the seat okay belt? about the symbol if you don't use the symbol machine is not where you have to use your symbol first what a great idea going. so if you're not buckled up guys the machine will not start i like that idea okay, okay. When, when you started switch on okay five seconds and start as you see it's not work you have to use a brake right you start okay so like automatics so you press the brake and then turn and it will start so george is uh, taking the buggy thing contraption out for me 
there we are it's all ready to go I've uh, done all the paperwork and given him my passport and my driving license and it's all okay and we're nearly ready to go so George I'm planning to go up to Capo Greco watch the sunset of course we live over here and we know what's going on but can you recommend to the customers where to go of course when they're gonna hire a give map and i can explain to make it one good uh, trip i'll show you the map inside okay well, let's go inside and have a quick look at the map shall we oh it's all exciting isn't it give to all the all the people around that i give this kind of map oh here. okay and i explain where they can go in to use the machine, it can go down to see the caves, they can go in a Yanapa, they can go to the nice restaurant to eat fish, they can use to go in the small village, Parali, Misodira, they can go to see the viewpoint, what is uh, the Famagusta, close to Famagusta, they can use all this area here. Right, so they're not restricted at all, uh, apart from the highway, they can use the whole of this area. Yes, Ayanapa, Brotaras, they can go. Paralimni, Sodira village, viewpoint, where is the Famagusta? Wow. This all So this they area. can visit lots of places and you will give them a copy I of this give, map. Yes, yes. And give them some advice of where to go. Because yeah. some of them will have a day, some will have two or three days. Mm -hmm. Sounds fantastic. Right guys, so George has just come back dropping off some customers. Now, if you want to rent one of these, he will come to the hotel and drop it off at the hotel for you. So but see... They, they have, I have a free delivery. Free... Free delivery, including humans, isn't it? So when they come here, you can take them to the hotel or vice versa. Brilliant. Right, we'll see you later, George. See you, have a good time, yeah? Will do, thank you very much. guys we've made it to the bakery to pick up our picnic it's great little buggy really easy to drive you just sort of like press go and stop that's it and if you take your foot off the accelerator it slows down virtually immediately right so we're gonna go and pick up our picnic and we'll come back right guys so there's all the hot pies now normally I'll have a traditional halloumi cheese pie There it is at €2.50 Or cheese and bacon pie there What do you think guys? Greek style cheese puff pastry there Well let's go with the traditional halloumi cheese pie Right, so the crew's got the little bits. There we are, and they go by the weight, 12 euro 65 a kilo. And it looks like you've got halloumi there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's written down here, guys. We've got the ham and cheese puff, sausage roll mini, we've got the Greek style cheese, and we've got the cheese puff pastry. Oh, also, you picked the chicken wholemeal bit. There it is there. Oh, you picked out an olive bake in the last minute. Oh, and also, very, very last minute, the spinach bake. All right, have you got enough there? Say so too, guys. 
and I'm just going to have the traditional halloumi and cheese pie. Right, the crew's having difficulties picking a dessert. There's thousands here. There we are. We've got um, red velvet cake, by the way. They're nice little tubs. I'm going for the galo bureko, which is the custard tart. Uh, I'm only have one slice, by the way. As always, guys, I think we've gone mad again on the picnic. There it is lovely and that was just over 11 euros for the both of us so not too bad it weighs quite a lot though we are. we'll show you the picnic when we get up to Capo Greco now we're heading back to the uh, machine there's a machine and we've got that uh, box on the back and we'll put the picnic in the box at the back So guys, two classical mistakes. Wear glasses, I haven't got mine, and bring a hoodie or some sort of jumper with you because we haven't got a windscreen. Great fun. Right, I'm going to get my jumper out of the box. We're on our little buggy and we've decided we're going to go and visit the sea caves first. That's down there. That's a little bit off road, so but we've got our buggy, so we're fine. Let's go. I think the crew's stuck in there. Oh no, so you're fine. Okay, so there's the, our buggy. And it was quite smooth ride actually. Can you see the road is really rough and a bit hickety pickety, but it coped with it really well. Better than a car anyway. So there's the sea cave down there, and we'll walk down to the sea cave and have a look around. And then we're gonna make our way up to Capo Greco to see the sunset. So I suppose if you're here in the midsummer, guys, those quad bikes are quite uh, nice with that beautiful breeze coming through with no windshield. Right, back to the sea caves. Now we've got a nice little canteen down there. Look, that's new. I haven't seen that before. It's quite a popular place for people to come and take their photos once they tied the knot also very popular place for people to come and watch the sunset and we're not staying here for the sunset as I said we're gonna go up to Capo Greco 
right at the top there looks like it might be a nice sunset today right. now be careful guys okay do not go close to the edge even if you're posing like this lady okay so we're staying away from the edge As I said, you can have fun, but be careful. There has been a few accidents. Now, I want to show you something from here. Here we are, just set back a little bit. This is a very popular place to cliff jump. There's where you jump off, and you can see there's a clear area there. That's the deep area. And that's the popular place for jumping into the water. We'll go around there and show you. Now guys, you're not supposed to be jumping off this cliff. Okay. Lots of people do. And it's up to you. Now recently, they've put uh, safety equipment here. This wasn't here before. Look, we've got a life ring. There we are and some signs and all sorts of uh, bits and pieces going on here look there we are danger it says diving is strictly prohibited also it says a lot of persons have lost their lives or got injured at this spot so there's the sea caves all the way around here and the most popular one is just under here guys but if I walk round back towards the quaddy bike machine we can show you the most popular sea cave conveniently located benches there to watch the sunset also an ice cream van there's the ice cream van over there you can see that there's rocks sticking up everywhere loads of trip hazards here so I'm walking around here can you see guys around this area here approximately three meters away from the cliff edge so if you do take a boat trip one of many boat trips maybe from Ayer Napa or Brodara it will come round here and it go right next to the sea caves so you can see the sea caves from the sea level ah here we are can you see it there it is there's some people in it at the moment and you go down on the other side there's a, an entrance from the other side you climb down into the sea cave right looks like the sun's coming down there it is we've got a sunset we'll make our way back to our quaddy machine that's parked up there right let's make our way back to our quaddy machine got big suspension isn't it that's handy because uh, we've got a big picnic well the quad machine makes light work of these rough roads Look at the view, it's amazing. We're going to make our way up to the top of Capo Greco and take our picnic with us. Right, so tip number three. Coming up here, there might be mosquitoes. So bring your mosquito spray with you. So wear a hoodie, glasses and mosquito spray. Oh, here comes another driver. Come in, come in. So I'm going to make my way up to the top. There we are. This is a fantastic place to enjoy 
some nature walks and some circular walks. There's the road coming up, that dirt road. There's some more quad bikes coming up now and some cars. But that quad bike machine really made light work of that rough road. And if you're here in the winter guys, out of season, this is a really nice place to visit and enjoy some marvellous walks. That can get quite hot in the summer. So quite a nice place to visit after four o'clock in the summer when it cools down a bit. So you can see the little lighthouse on the headland there. And if you do take the boat trips, that'll work itself round the lighthouse, guys, down there. There were several masts on that uh, little headland. Some sort of communication masts. And they've all been taken down. I'm not sure if you can get in that area now. I'll try maybe later on in the year, maybe September when it cools down. Lots of people coming up here for the sunset. So here we are, we've made it to the top. We've got conveniently located bench there and over here. And this beautiful pergola, look at that. Great for the daytime, get a bit of shade. And we're gonna have our picnic here. Right, there we are, there's our picnic. Big bag of goodies. Oh, throughout all the excitement of uh, driving our quad bike buggy, I've forgotten what I've got. I know it's had Lumi. It could be had Lumi in something else. Let's have a look. Mmm, it's really delish. It's massive chunks of halloumi in the middle in olive bread mm -mm, delish oh you're doing really well with your little bits aren't you what are you having at the moment oh the look ham. at that the spinach one lovely the that's the spinach one is it no, that's the ham one. Oh, that's ham one and the spinach one was really nice highly recommend the spinach one there's my one down there. I've had half of it, it's really delish. I've opted for the iced tea, probably. And I've got me afters there, on me sweet. Well, let's have a look at the sunset, shall we? Wow, that's really nice, isn't it? That is beautiful. That's gonna be a lovely sunset. Let's have a look what greedy chops has got. Oh, there we are. That's nice. Is it glass or plastic? Plastic cup full of chocolate cake. Looks delish. Well, that was a really delish halloumi pie. Halloumi and olive pie. And now I'm finishing off with my lovely custard tart. There it is. Beautiful sunset. We're going to go down. I want to show you the sculpture up here. Oh, so lots of people waiting for the sunset. Right, if I could remember, it's either birds or some sort of dolphins. Let's have a look. Oh, they're beautiful birds, guys. Look at that. See how peaceful it is up here? It's amazing. We've got a better view of that headland. There it is. It's almost an island. Yet again, be careful, look. Warning sign. Don't go right up to the cliff edge there. 
another conveniently located bench let's go to that and then we'll go back to our pergola and watch the sunset and that will finish our adventure with our quad bike machine and I keep saying what a marvellous experience that would be renting one of those quad bike machines and coming up here or going slightly off road and then having a picnic and watching the sunset and it really is a great experience thoroughly enjoyed it it's totally different from hiring a car and it really handled these rough roads around here very well here's a conveniently located bench Oh, look at the view. Oh, wow, it's breathtaking. Oh, wow, look at this. So we've got these rocks here in front of us. So I feel safe. But look at the cliff edge down there. Beautiful. You can make out the nature trail. There it is. And there, can you see that? And round that, that go all the way round this rock. Here we are. Does look like our coastal path, but it's not. It's a nature trail. And it goes all the way round this Capo Greco headland. Right, let's make our way back down there the pergola and then we can see the sunset right round we go there we are sort of path there we are round these jugged rocks don't forget to wear appropriate shoes not flip-flops not your fancy gold or silver diamond flip-flops no 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 it's got to be appropriate shoes so you've got some stones and rocks everywhere we've disposed of our recycling cardboard and we're keeping the bag our shopping bag here's a pergola So here we are, just check out the lovely sunset, wow, it's really looking spectacular, look at that, look at that, wow, amazing. Now this is when the sky starts to turn orange. So as you can see, it's a popular place to watch the sunset. Loads of people are now turned up. And let's have a look see what's going on there's the sun just going behind those low clouds and we can just about make out Ayanapa marina the new marina that uh, bent tower the squiggly tower that's down there
some lights going on around the A and Napa area, just down there. Well guys, that was a fantastic experience. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.